side of Jim Jones. Who fucked the loss, dude? He wants to be all that and he lost. That's some fucked up ass shit. Up and up all them bitches' asses, dude. Fucking ass. You're a fucker here. Oh, man, it's dirty as shit. God is God, and let Lord be Lord. And may the Lord of God, of God of Lord, be in video games all around the fucking world. That's the part the fuck I'm going with that shit. Chink died in front of the video game. Fuck these motherfuckers talking about gods and lords and shit. Congressman came on in. Got this. God damn it, man. That's some fucked up ass shit. Ryan's a dick. What is it, girl? What is it, girl? Alright, come on, come on. Take the fuck off like she know where she going there. That's the fucking weird part about it. Yeah, she takes off like she knows where the fuck she going. We in the middle of fucking this shit. We in the middle of war song. This is war song fucking shit. That's what she does. The Walking Dead. This is what the white man wanted. This is what he wanted. Nobody did up the bar. You don't like it? Get a ticket and get fly your ass the fuck out of here. The quick as your ass was born here, get the fuck right back out of here. You can do it. A lot of provisions. Get an Amtrak and get the fuck out of here. They name, your, name your nation and go right the fuck to it. Even Whitey himself. Nobody trap your ass here. Don't leave that fuck. Shit, nobody trapping your monkey ass up in this bitch. Stupid ass the fuck out of here. You don't like it.
This is his fucking shit here. He don't like it though. He wanna give it to the fucking cool motherfuckers. Something wrong with his ass. He crazy, y'all crazy too. Right with that motherfucker. And that Michael Jordan motherfucker. Get the shit and go. You don't like it. I got nowhere else to go. Oh, I would have do it, but just stay here. That's all. I ain't gonna do nothing. I don't know where I'm gonna go. Oh, look at the Michael Jordan monkey. He's talking that shit. I would rather stay in this world right here full of bullshit than go in that shit this off the day. I'm sorry guys, but I can't I can't do it no more. Y'all go to it and y'all find your ass coming right back here dude. Some of y'all anyway. Some of y'all. You see, y'all go through it, and it's like, I don't know, I'm not down on them or nothing, you know, it's just, it's a crazy world, you know, it's a crazy world, and the last thing we need is for somebody to put something in our head, dude, that's, that, that's just my fucking intake on it and shit, I just can't, I can't afford it, man, I'm an ex-Bible student, you know, and, I had enough of that shit. Don't put nothing in my fucking head. I can't fucking do it anymore. I'm too tired. I'm getting too old. I can't fucking do it anymore. Don't tell me to like somebody when I don't like them. Just don't. Just stop the shit. You know, you just want to say, just knock it off. I want to do my thing now. Okay? Fuck the consequences. Dude, I got one foot in the grave any damn way. I'm 40 fucking five years old. I smoke like a motherfucker. Though we went to the doctor's office. They said we had perfect health. Did a chest x-ray and everything. I don't fucking get wrong. One minute you up. Next minute, hey, remember that motherfucker was on the weedy box? So let me shut up with that fucking shit. He was in perfect health too. He ain't on that weedy box, no fucking boy. Hold no bitch ass American medals either. Fuck. Fucking monkeys look at me at everything I say. He said, I don't look at them like that. I look at them like, you know, do you I don't watch that fucking sports show. I don't fuck with that. Every now and then I put that shit on RVT for people to, you know, like that thing. But I don't fuck with that. I don't worry. I don't worry about what they say, man. I don't even watch, I barely watch the movies they fucking uh, be in. You know, and yeah, they want to come around me and do that shit. Why are you doing it the fuck over? You know what I mean? Criticizing me and shit. You criticizing me for, it, dude? Well, don't you know? I ain't trying to gain no fucking enemies, dude. I hate those motherfuckers. When I first was spit the fuck out on this planet, I heard the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I saw the motherfuckers when I first came on the set. They had shit over their face. Pulling me, pulling me, dude. Pulling me. They was my first enemies right there. I saw them, so that's how I learned about it. So don't bring that fucking suck ass shit. Don't bring that Mr. Magoo shit the fuck around here. Alright, cause if you hate it, you shouldn't be here. Shut up while you're here. Just shut the fuck up or just go somewhere else. I'm not asking you to come here any fucking way. And Congressman Ryan, who got his shit head, blew the fuck off. He was shit and went down the fuck and sniffing his white nose around. And Jones lost, and Jones a faggot, and he a bitch, and he lost his fucking shit. And that's the end of that bullshit. Anything else is politics. Any fucking thing else is politics. 
That motherfucker with down there and got his head blown right off. So fuck it. Fuck it. Nobody give a shit and we got down there. I just came on here, man. And I don't know what to say to you, but these motherfuckers, this world is going from sugar to shit. And that's it. Mm. Had some fun. Let's talk about something y'all interesting. Did you see the news today, yesterday? Uh, I didn't look at it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Y'all gotta go to the front page of YouTube and see what they saying about the shit. I can't tell you shit. Cause I don't want to look at the front page, especially at first of the month. I ain't looking at no fucking shit like that first of the month. They can have all this shit every first of the month. I barely do it. I barely go into any mainstream shit. Not not the first two weeks of the month, cause that's what all time. But unless something, unless we got to, unless we say okay, we got to do it. And shit, then we will fucking do it. Anyway. But this is all time. Ain't no fucking way, dude. Not the first of the month. I ain't looking at this shit. They can tap every fucking bit of it. Only time, only time I look at it if it comes through in my mail, like that. If somebody wanna share something with me, then I say okay, I look at it. But other than that, we don't go to that shit. Not the first of the month, dude. Fuck that. Fuck all them motherfuckers. Cause see, and because the they don't because they like that, we suffering like this. You know? That's all they gonna say about us, dude. We don't give a shit. So, they gonna just do what they wanna do. And every first of the month, or two weeks, or whatever it is, plus, we feel that shit. We feel it. We get, they got all this shit in America, we can't have none of it, dude. Because we can't afford it. And the people that can afford it, can't even fucking enjoy it. It's all set up. It's just bullshit. And... I'm just not feeling, I'm not feeling a lot of things, and that's what Rashi RVT is about, having something, dude, so we can laugh at and talk about, and I'm just not feeling the setup here. I love the white man like a motherfucker, but I don't know, I don't know what he's doing no more. I used to be on the same, you know, pain we used to be, I don't know what happened, so I don't know. But I ain't going that route, he going and fuck that shit, ain't no motherfucking way, dude. You got y'all got that shit. Y'all got that shit so much, dude. I uh, no offense or nothing. Y'all got that. I ain't no fucking way I'm going in his direction like that. He didn't fucking. I don't know, man. He didn't fucking snap. Something happened. If he ain't snap, something that fucking happened. I don't fucking know. Man. So the point is, um, that's just the way I go out. Now you got these other broadcasters. That come at the world in their way. See, people keep people come here and they keep forgetting that Rashid's a broadcaster. That's what I do. My thing is broadcasting. Though I'm in a situation right now where I can't do no RMJC, you know. So they they they're getting off of the fucking subject of thought that that's what I do. I'm a broadcaster. I talk. That's what I do. And when you look at RVT and you see cartoons and you see these little this little bullshit I do, it gets you off of the issue that my position on social media is broadcasting. And you forget about this shit. You know, you forget about it. But you cannot forget. Okay? You support. I want you to take shit to heart. All these motherfuckers on broadcasting network. I ain't gonna go through my business with y'all. But all of them. You got all these names, and y'all know who they are. Y'all know who they are, dude. Everybody got something to say. Why can't I have my fucking fucking something to say? Because I'm not white or black. Man, fuck you. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm still a broadcaster. This is what I do. And a lot of people not realizing that. They're getting really offended. Like, like we friends. I don't know y'all, man. I don't know y'all from my, from the scratch marks I make on my balls every morning. Okay? I don't fucking know you. 
So don't get that fucking attached to me like we friends or we down with each other. Because I don't know you. Now, I'm not talking to the motherfuckers that circle me and subscribe me. You guys are different. Because that's telling me something about you. That's on a whole different level. But for these motherfuckers coming around here, hanging out, just listening and leaving, and getting popping this fucking attitude, dude, you you in the wrong motherfucking place, and you know you in the wrong place. You know you are, because if you saw me in the schoolyard or a lunchroom or whatever, we will not be friends. If I you was my prison inmate, we probably would not be friends, dude. And you know who the fuck you are. Because you're trained and raised to be a certain way. To hate motherfuckers like me. Alright, so stop playing games. Stop pretending like you like me. And just come come straight out. Alright, I want you to fucking leave. And don't come back here. And I fucking mean it. And you know who the fuck you are. So stop faking. Nobody asked you to come here in the first fucking place, dude. You coming here all up in my fucking business. Don't worry about my fucking business, dude. Just know that I'm a broadcaster and I do my fucking shit. Y'all motherfuckers thinking, uh, you know, I ain't even gonna fucking get into it. I ain't even gonna fucking get into y'all shit. I ain't even, cause it's, I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about it. I really don't wanna talk. Just, just don't come around here with this shit. Keep that shit right where you was at. Come around here. And if I circled you, I circled you because I don't give a fuck. That's why I did. You look like a nice person and I circle. If you don't circle me back, you want a nice person. You put a piece of bread down, get some peanut butter, get some jelly, put it together, you got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay? Alright then. If I circle you, you ain't got you ain't got you don't wanna circle me back, which is odd. Which is fucking odd, dude, because I'm reaching out to you. When I first came on, I did the same thing, but I told the guys why I did it. But you guys just not circling because you don't like a motherfucker and I'm still circling. That's okay. But see, the only reason why it's like that because Google Plus don't have a system where I can look. And, okay, this person ain't circling. Why don't they have a box like that? This person ain't circling you back. So I can just get rid of you. I fucking would. I don't feel like going over there looking for you. But I took a chance on you and I found out that, hey, you're not the person that I thought, whatever. So, okay. So, you're still just hanging there. But if I could get you off from me, I'd get you the fuck off me. I just don't know who you are. You ain't gonna come forward and tell me because anybody fucking scared of me. So, I don't fucking know what to tell you. Just hang in there until I get around to just, okay, this person ain't circling me back. And I could get the not yet uh, thing the fuck out of here. Just hang in there. Hang in this shit coming in the mail. Just hang in there. Or block. That's all you gotta do. Get to work. And don't listen to fucking me. That's some crazy shit. You ain't gonna circle nobody, but you. But I, I do the same thing. Let me shut up. Plus, but I don't do it because these fancy YouTube motherfuckers on here who come on here and you wanna be their friend and you wanna talk. They ain't gonna fucking talk to you, dude. They ain't gonna talk to you. This motherfucker here, man, think he the. The fucking king of the, that's good. I hope his ass. I'm glad he like that. I ain't gonna even say his fucking name, dude. I swear to God, I'm not. I'm glad he fucking like that. Stay just like that. Say you supposed to have went to NBC or whatever and came back to you. I ain't gonna even say his fucking name. I'm glad he like that. Stay. Don't fucking move. Just stay just like that. I'm gonna see what happened in this motherfucker here. I ain't even gonna say his fucking name. I wrote him in his Gmail and shit. You know, you write somebody and try to, and he just like finger you or some shit. But this is a while ago. This is before I was watching the way I am now. But it's just the fact he still did it. You know, one hundred and one subscribers, billion dollars pyramid, billion dollar pyramid subscriber ass motherfuckers. Everybody fucking loved him. Well. <coughs> Wish you the best of luck in that field, dude. You remind me of that prick from the gong show who hosts the gong show. That's all you probably go right there. Double life ass motherfucker. Just stupid shit. I ain't even gonna feed it. I don't feed into today bullshit, but they come on here and think they all fucking you know, you reach out and be their friend, they look down on you and shit. Like, oh, this person, I ain't saying hi to him. You know, this is all stupid-ass fucking shit. 
And these boys like these so like these uh Oh my god man Oh my god You ain't got to be like that dude. You ain't got to be fucking like that I talk to everybody I don't give a fuck how big I get I talk to every fucking body I don't give a damn who uh if you even first me I, I say at least I try to if I miss you first because you know sometimes Google Plus don't the, the, the uh, mechanisms don't tell you if somebody first you or not so I don't know but if I do know I try to say hi to them you ain't gotta be a fucking prick dude what that means I told you when I first came where I don't care about my uh, subscribers or views I don't give a damn about that I told you that when I first came on here I don't care about that. Though I am surprised our fucking yeah, we are shocked that our shit, our shit was blowing the fuck up like that. Cause I, you know, I came on doing what I fucking. I know y'all ain't gonna like me. I knew that shit from the beginning, but I just wanted you to check me out. Cause I had something to show you. Right, I'm talking to everybody. Fuck that old partner bullshit. I'm looking right at that fucking screen talking to you. That's what I wanted to fucking do. I ain't scared of fucking thing. If I'm talking to you, I'm telling you watching my video, why not do it that way? Does it make sense? If I'm a broadcaster, it makes sense. All these big motherfuckers around here acting like they all high and mighty and shit. Like they somebody because they, all these things such and such subscribers and you getting a little money in your pocket you think you are like you like you a celebrity on a red carpet and shit oh my god man oh my fucking god you go ahead with yourself right so but the point of the matter is i'm trying to i would like to reach out to them because i do watch some i ain't gonna say their name i'm not because they don't even want you to comment. If I'm, I can't even comment no more. I'm gonna mention this on my show, my Rashi YouTube radio show. But it's amazing that I can't even fucking comment no more, really, because these motherfuckers think I'm come taking they fucking people and shit, and they copping attitudes with me. So I'm like, well, damn, I just watched a movie or watched somebody, and I say something on the button, they get fucking mad. They like, oh, no, everybody gonna come uh, to your station. I'm, dude, dude, I, it's so much I want to say right now, but this is not the time. You know, just imagine me and your fucking ass is standing there in the alleyway, and I'm saying, this is not the time, man. This is not the fucking time. That's all right. I am a hold back my tongue and everything. But you one stupid son of a bitch. I just want to tell you that. I ain't going to fucking comment on your fucking shit because you think I'm taking all your people and shit. So, all right. That's fine. That's fucking fine, dude. Now, of course, I'm not talking to the ones that send me their information in the mail and send me their videos in the mail because they're the only ones that they big I comment under there. I'm not talking. I'm talking to the basic I gotta watch what I say under they fucking shit. That's not the way social media is ran. That's why we in that fucking alleyway. And you don't know how bad I'm looking at them trash can lids, dude. You don't know how fucking bad. Because that is not what social... That is not anybody... I don't give a fuck who it is. They can comment under your fucking shit, dude. Any fucking body. And say anything they want, cause it's not in YouTube or Google Plus. So y'all come on here and do y'all. Oh, that's why I'm the way I am. I ain't gonna say shit else about it. I'ma just do. I'ma just do an RET. I'ma do my shit. My whoever don't like it, you can suck my fucking nuts, dude. And I mean that shit. And I fucking mean that shit. Y'all some petty ass sons of bitches on social media, dude. Petty ass motherfuckers. I never met nobody like you. Yeah, in fact, y'all all geeks and nerds. I see why y'all got your ass whooped on a daily basis. And I ain't fucking lying to you. Y'all some stupid sons of bitches. That's just why I act the way I act. Y'all some dumb asses, man. Like I'm taking a fucking uh, people. Man, go ahead some fucking weird. You petty ass piece of shit. Like I give a fuck about these people. 
That's not what Google Plus and YouTube made they shit to do. You could comment for any, and I don't get if this is somebody big on social media. Oh, Rashid, you big now. You can't, because people, they're going to get, man, that's okay. We in the alleyway. That's okay, dude. You go ahead with your fucking shit, okay? I ain't even going to fucking get it. Go ahead. Have fun. Knock yourself out. Be Bob Barker, dude. Go ahead. Be Bob Barker. Be, um, them, those, um, uh, Ozzy and them niggas, them fucking man and woman, Ozzy and David, the fuck, showing movies on your shit. You go ahead and you be them fuckers right there. Both of them niggas dead, so... I mean, you look. I mean, just do your thing, dude. Do your Ozzy Davis fucking whatever the fuck shit. Show your movies for your people, or whatever. And think you think you on Channel Twelve afternoon and shit. Whatever the fuck one thing you hate, you go ahead. I ain't got time for that stupid shit. Stupid ass shit, man. They getting the fuck offended and shit. Oh, this motherfucker. He he a social media celebrity. He gonna comment. Something awesome on my fuck. They get offended. So what? That ain't no fucking law to say. Man, you. I'm step. I'm moving, walking by the alley, dude. I'm walking right down the alley. I ain't even got time for your ass. This is not the time for you, dude. Because see, if when I get my website, because I'm going to get my website soon. Then I'm going to do all that fucking shit. Right now, this is Google Plus, YouTube. You know, it's a name. I don't want to defame nobody's name. You know, because I, I, I know how I can get. I'm a crazy son of a bitch. And I could defame the fuck out of you. So, I'm not going to defame Google but the shit I want to say. But wait till I get my fucking website. Then it's going to be on. So, you just hang in there, buddy, you stupid ass. You just hang right up in there. Because I will be talking about your dumb ass. I ain't going to fucking lie about you. He's a dumb son of a bitch. All attached to these. You don't know who these motherfuckers are on social media, you damn dick. You acting all like they... Like, man, you crazy as fuck, dude. You one cracker jack. Fucking nut. Think I'm taking these fucking people. Man, I don't want your goddamn people. Fucking monkeyed up ass motherfucker shit. Everybody got everybody from the hood. Everybody from the projects now. Fucking stupid ass image ass motherfuckers. Stay away from me. And let them punk asses keep saying we the Smurfs and the Snorks. We all the the same fucking species. Those stupid cell phone bullshit. Listen to go fucking watch that and kiss my ass. Dumb bastards. We are the same fucking people. What the fuck is wrong with these cell phone ass motherfuckers? So anyway, um, I just wanted to come on here and shit. And, and say the fuck. That's the fuck. And them ads, you see them, you see what they doing, they, you go to watch a video, the ad come up there, then after the ad, then it, it goes, man, they don't want us to watch you, man, go ahead, see all that, see, that's what I'm talking about, that's why I'm the way I am, that's why I'm right there, I don't care, I don't care about what happened either, I'm being myself on here, you can bet your sweet ass on that, I'm being myself around here. I ain't pretending for none of you fuckers. And I mean that. And I don't want the Hollywood shit. I'm coming on here having fun the way I supposed to. Or what I supposed to do. And all that shit rules y'all making up. Y'all go here. I'll play the I'll play the main game with you. I'll play the main game with you. I will. I'll play the main game with you. I ain't got no problem with that. I'm a team player. I always was and I always will be. I ain't got to go with the game. But I always play the game. But you one simple minded, howdy duty ass motherfucker, dude. And you stay just like that. And like I said, you better make it the how You better make something of this shit. Because you got a big surprise when you get 85, 70 years old. You got a big surprise waiting for your dumb ass. So I ain't worried about it. You ain't nothing but a fucking cracker jack box. Wait till you see your fucking prize when you get older. You better make it to fucking. Uh, uh, you better take fucking. Um, What's his name? A uh, uh, Larry King at, uh, place. I fucking mean it. Cause you got a big treat waiting for your stupid ass. Wait till you get older.
so I ain't worried about you. You already set. You already fucking set, dude. You sitting on the joke box and don't even fucking know. You gonna get old and turn around and go, oh no, oh yeah, yeah, oh yes, ain't no oh no the fuck in it. Now technology, hey, they gonna whip out screens all over the fucking place. Yeah, it's gonna be fucked. So I don't give a fuck. They got their fucking, uh, what's going to go fucking ads on YouTube. They don't want us to watch YouTube. They, they want to control what we watch. Soon it's going to be something important on them fucking ads. I see what the fuck going on. I just It's only gonna be something important on them damn hands. Now they got a way to break in social media, man. All you gotta do is keep refreshing the page. That's all you gotta do, dude. I'm gonna let you know a secret. Keep refreshing your page. And now, as soon as the ad come on, you know that's gonna happen. Refresh your fucking page, dude. And keep doing it. I say about the fourth time it should be off. I know it's a pain in the ass, but go way up top, left hand side. Refresh your page. And that shit in the ass again, knock right the fuck off of there. So, don't worry about that. Time to trap us in looking at some fucking nigga ass fucking stupid shit. Fuck out of here. No, I wanna see that. Keep refreshing your page, and those ads gonna fall right the fuck off of there. That's all you got to do. The two arrows on top of your page on the left hand side, right beside the refresh button. Just keep refreshing your page. And as soon as you see the ad come refresh your shit, you should be alright. About the third time though, but at least at least it ain't gonna throw you on another fucking page. So you know. They trying to take social media and do something else completely different with it. And they know they fucking wrong, dude. They know they fucking wrong. Everybody want, everybody want to say, look at me, look at me, look at me and shit. Look at me, look at me. Look at me. Everybody want, look at me. And they, then they come back and talk about Rashid. That's a funny thing about it. Then he come back and say, Rashid, well, you, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. I want everybody to look at me. Ain't got nothing to do with it. Ain't got nothing to do with that. YouTube said broadcast yourself. That's YouTube slogan right there. What the fuck are you talking about? That's so I, you know, they always say, oh, this and this, but the slogan of YouTube is broadcast yourself. So anybody say, Rashid, well, think he's, he's this and that. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? You the idiot, not me. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You're the fucking asshole. Why are you trying to make me be make me be the corporate and fucking shit? You're the dickhead. Holding your talent then. That's all. Do what grandma told you. And shut the fuck up. Do what grandma and grandpa told you. Holding your talent and get the fuck out of here and kiss my ass. Fucking loser.
I'm a cult leader. And we're enjoying, I'm putting us through the test because we are enjoying what was in the Bible. It's known as the new world. We are. And we can prove it. I just don't want to scare y'all. Because if I do, y'all go running away. Oh, Rashid, you scared me. And I don't want to go to that stupid shit. You're so excited. We don't know what to do. Because we're about to re-enter the land of the I ain't gotta bring no brainwash nobody to be in my fucking cult. Ain't no fucking way, dude. Y'all ain't worth it. Ain't nobody fucking. We get in my shit, do what the fuck I tell you to do. And anybody fucking know it around here. Everybody fucking know it. I got millions of fucking people follow me, dude. Millions. And they do what the fuck I tell them to do. And I mean it. And I love all of them. Every one of them. And they fucking know it. In fact, that was even stupid to say. But I'm just saying. They brainwash people to be in cults. I ain't got the brain. I ain't definitely got to pick up their fucking Bible and try to make people think, well, I don't, I'm no the Bible. No, I know the book. You know, there's a difference between me and these other cult leaders. These other cult leaders get on here and shit, and they be profess to be Christians or whatever, or preachers, and they and then they be, nah, get the fuck out. I come on like this. You see that book? I know it. You could kiss my ass and walk out that fucking door, or I could give you a better life. It's that simple. I ain't got time to be playing games. I already know what's in that fucking book. And it's not a new kind of way of doing shit and nothing like that. It's just, dude, the book is over. It's fucking over. All of Jesus' prophecies up. It's over, dude. You can look at that fucking news every day and see ain't nothing on it to see that. All Jesus' words ain't on no fucking news no more, is it? All right, then. It's the beginning of Armageddon, you fucking dickhead. And around here, we gonna survive it. Because I have... Camera, I have unlocked something, guys. I'm not going to even fucking get into that because I don't want to scare you. But I unlocked something, and I'm excited about it, and I don't want to scare nobody. So, that's the end of that fucking shit. But just know that we know what we don't. Alright? Let me be the crazy person, whatever y'all say. Let me be that person. I don't care. I'll gladly be the crazy person y'all want me to be. I don't give a shit. So, just know that um, I'm happy, we're happy, and we're enjoying the beginning stages of Armageddon. This is the Great Tribulation is about to start, and I don't know how many of y'all, it says y'all ain't gonna, so a lot of y'all ain't gonna survive it. That's what the Bible says. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I, I ain't gonna even say I hope you survive it. I ain't even gonna say that because I don't know what kind of life you live. But I wish y'all the best of luck in surviving this shit. Cause it's great hit soon. Because um We hurting and I don't wanna you know, we're hurting and this is not the show to get into that. But we're hurting because as a people we lost it. We hit rock bottom, dude. Look around very carefully. Very fucking carefully. Alright. We hit rock bottom. And any time that happens, the only time something like that, like beyond what anybody ever can imagine in the United States of America, any time it's on that level, are we going biblical? There's no fucking way we're not going biblical if the United States of America was the world power that the Bible spoke about. About the, um, the, uh, the, uh, um, the, uh, what is it? Uh, Babylon the Great, the Empire of False Religion. Anytime something like this happened, huge like this, straight biblical. And I'm watching it, I'm wa keeping an eye on it. All of a sudden, in time, I see a decline. It's not getting better, it's getting worse. And we believe that, that in the year 2000, was that Christ says in the Bible, 
Whenever that they are saying peace and security, then sudden destruction will be instantly upon them. That goes in the year 2000 when everybody speculated Y2K and all this other shit going to happen in the new millennium and it didn't happen. And life continued to go on. That was when a huge cry came out. We got peace and security. People start falling away. Oh, the year 2000, nothing's going to happen. Everybody fell away and started sold their land and all this bullshit. And that was the cry right there. Ever since that period, United States of America went straight. Is Look at this shit, dude. This is Armageddon. You can say what the fuck you want to say. You could debate whatever the fuck you want to say. But this is definitely the beginning stages of the Great Tribulation that the Bible speaks about and says, Unless those days was cut short, no flesh should be saved. That's how bad it's getting. Okay? And you guys, could, could, uh, Jesus Christ said that the first will be last. Who who was last or amongst all the people? Who was the last motherfucker? Who was the last motherfucker? Now, don't bitch up and run away and shit like a faggot. Who was the last motherfuckers all these years? Who took all the heat from every fucking thing? Okay, Jesus said the first will be last and the last will be first. See, it's going to be a switch. Now, you may think that those people were the last. So, then you're right. They were the last. But when you really look at it, it's another group of people who was really fucking last. Think about it. They were the last. I'm not saying they were the last. But there was a, another group of people who was last of the fucking last. They was unknown fucking last. We believe that those people is right here. It's us. The Bible says there will be new scrolls opened up. and you know, I wrote a whole Bible. I got my whole Bible. I got my whole uh, belief, my people. And I don't want to get too much of that, you know. But it's not much. People are looking for me to speak in some directional way. I already was a, I was a pioneer. I was we pioneers here, but I was a um, a unbaptized publisher for Jehovah's Witness because that's the religion I was raised in. So I went. I was on stage. I did the preaching. I held the Bible studies. I held Bible meetings. I did. I did all of that, but getting that goddamn water. That's all. So good. Get me a water. I, I did everything, and so I I know all of that kind of talking is over. What the fuck am I gonna say to you now? I have spirituality on RVT where I have church sermon and I talk about, it and I'm, I'm about due to put one up, and I will speak in in the language. The 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 the, the tongue of the taught ones is what the Bible calls it. The tongue of the taught ones. So I still speak the tongue of the taught ones, but at the same time. You got to realize that we're finished with that book. We believe that we're finished with that book. We came from the book. And every now and then I'll quote and dart from it. But and ultimately we're done with it. Because we believe we have, we have the right literature now. I'm not saying I'm a prophet. I will never say I'm a prophet. I will never say I'm a God. I will never say that I'm whoever. You guys can say what you want. Only thing I am is Rashid. I will always be Rashid. I was this way for the beginning. That's me and that's it. Now, this is, I wrote us a new Bible, new laws and all, and so far we are having, in fact, I'm surprised I'm telling you this. I'm so, we freaking out, we're on social media. This is some shit. I hope it, you know, because we, hey, when I say we, 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 can't you see that shit? And we, I carry this with me, you know, I'm a, they say, Daddy, that's your toy. I say, this belongs to you guys, you know. They think this is my toy. I, I say, this belongs to you. So, we just toss it back and forth, having fun with it. And um, I just thought I'd make this thing for us to look at also. Because we got another station, dude. It's called the Rashid Network. And y'all couldn't handle that shit. Because now you see my face, my appearance, and I'm in roles like Tom Cruise and shit. I ain't got a lot of you, it's the truth. I got another network, the real deal, it's called the Rashid Network. And I'm in rules that Tom Cruise towards a fucking beard. I'm in no fucking rules. 
you see my face, the body, and everything. And the thing about that is, it's not something that you that I will air on mainstream. Uh, I mean, it's not that kind of network. Just like I made RVT, I made us another network that we just push a button and let it run. And it's a, it's a, it's the Rashid network. It's kind it's like that. So it's not like a network like you see the CNN, CBS, NBC, like that, and it's like broadcast that people, it's broadcast people looking, but it's done in a different way, thanks to uh, social media. So I have a Rashi network already. I just decided to make a little one, baby one, for this right here. So Google, YouTube, I'll be a baby RVT, but we got a huge one. So we pretty much set up. We got all our, our thinking and all, and we got religious prayer. And I, you know, I try to. It's not our actually what we believe in is over there. But y'all getting like a sub, you know, like subconscious, subhuman, sub. Uh, but, all right, this is all sub. When y'all see my flag looks similar like that, but it's like that. The flags, y'all not. I'm not posting our original flag on social media. I'm not gonna do that because my people suffered too long in. For us to rebuild our heritage, I think it deserves more than posting it on social media. Social media is something for people, okay? And putting our original flag on it is, is kind of like a disgrace for me and my people because it should not be shown that way. It should be shown the right way on our land. So I'm not going to post my original flag on social media. I'm not going to do it. But y'all could get the... The secondary flag. I got. I got. We got like four flags, five flags. We got like four or five flags. One of them I carry on my keychain with me, and it looks really bad. But it looks really good because it's gonna get framed. It's gonna get framed. We believe a certain. Y'all don't know what shison is. I'm not gonna get into that because y'all wouldn't understand it. You see. So you guys. The point is. You guys are, you know, I can't, we can't, I know you guys, all right? It's just I'm not about that no more. But I'm still Rashid, so that makes me likable, and I still entertain you the best way I can. But just think, just remember that I'm rude and ignorant like this because y'all will say I can't, say I develop RVT. And you see these late night uh, people on, um, Regular on on on, on uh, mainstream America or mainstream television. Say I became the Camel or whatever his Camel, whatever his name is. These late night and I just really, really be like that. Really be like that. No joking on RVT. I'm I'm telling y'all this is my station I created. I want your support. I want your help. And I came on like that. You guys won't like me anyway. In fact, I made a di I made an almost bet with my kids that you guys probably hate me even more y'all fucking hate me even more the way y'all even hating me now just being jealous and all this shit y'all hate me even fucking more if i came on serious so i figured what the fuck dude that's why i'm a dickhead now I'm, i i expected really a mature person out there in social media land to understand something like that but i i don't think you did i don't i don't i don't think you quite got it if i came on like that you fuckers will hate me. You know why? Because I'm not white. I'm not black. And in your head, it's like a fuzz picture. So I'll be wasting my time. And I don't waste my time. So I'd rather come on like this. Being a fucking dickhead. And being mature. Blotching it. In and out. And that's what this is going to be. And that's the way it's going to stay. I'm not going to prove myself or I could do. I don't give a fuck what I can do. I don't give a fuck about it. I've been doing shit since I was sucking off milk in the, in the baby crib. Sucking breast milk. Different flavors from bitches I ain't even fucking know. That's how I'm along. I've been doing shit. I don't give a fuck what I can do. Like I give a shit. So I just want y'all to know the deal. Why I'm such an asshole. Why I'm so because, dude, it doesn't make it. Y'all wouldn't like me any fucking way. That's why we trashing it. But at the same time, we keeping it tight. 
And I expected somebody to catch you. I ain't gonna catch you. You know why? Because you ain't gonna think that deep about me. Because I ain't a white boy. Because I ain't white, you ain't gonna think that way about me. So, this is the fucking truth. I ain't got a lie to you. This is Armageddon anyway. Everything about to be fucked up up in here any fucking way. I'm about to say, white boy, what the fuck is that? But that's all. I ain't gonna go that fucking far. But we damning right there at the door of it. Shit. Right there at the fucking door. So the point I'm trying to make is I'm be doing our thing around here and it's the way I'm running my fucking shit. And if it's not here, it's going to be somewhere else on social media and y'all will find me. There will be no problem. All you got to do is put up my name. My, my website going to come right up, dude. Y'all know my name. So it's, it ain't, it, nothing going to happen to me. And that's the end of that bullshit. And I just wanted y'all to know that. And that's what we believe in. And y'all beg to differ. And all this shit. And y'all got y'all beliefs. Y'all got y'all cult. Y'all got y'all religion and all. I'm not stepping on no toes. Y'all go ahead. But around here we do things different. If you want to come by here. Come by here. Have a nice time. And keep that hating shit out of here. Because it ain't about hating. I'm making y'all shit good tears, man. I'm making y'all my kids. I'm make, Not my kids, but I'm making y'all my friends. In order for me to do that, I need your help. I need you to trust me. You see, I need you to fucking trust me, dude. I'm, in there. I'm into everything but pain, dude. And I ain't gonna fucking sit around here and lie to you. I'm into everything but pain. I don't play that pain bullshit. Most of y'all do. I don't give a fuck about that punk ass shit. I don't play that pain shit. But I'm 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 wild like that, dude. I'm wild like that. And I'm not a homosexual, but I do realize that homosexuals are people. Imagine how it is for them, dude. See, this is why Rashid the way he is. Now I'm gonna show you why Rashid the way he is. Imagine homosexuals and lesbians and gays. And how they view things, how they view opinions, how they view life. Now, when they look out their window, what do they? How do they see this? How do you think they feel about themselves? Now, I'm not gay or homosexual, but I'm just saying. Have you ever took the time out just to just to just to fucking just look at that shit? Just to look at that shit, dude. We are talking great suffering here. We are talking massive. You you like your own sex, and now you know you. So that's who you are. So when you look out that fucking window, dude, and you walk down the street, damn, you can't do a fucking thing. You can't even, you gotta hide from who you are, dude. Look at that fucking shit. And you never took the time out, just the time out, just to view shit in their eyes. Imagine the other people, the freaks, or midgets, or dwarfs, or people that's really overweight. Or whoever. It's the same fucking way. Now here's my point. Here's now I ain't gonna get mad. Let me go. Let me go, Spirit. Let me go. I ain't gonna get mad. I ain't gonna get mad. Here's my fucking point though. Have you ever took the time to think about shit like that? There's other people on this fucking planet than your monkey basketball loving fucking answers. That's what the fuck my point is. I don't give a fuck about that NFL. In fact, I will take that fucking trophy. Dude, I swear to fucking God. There's other people on this planet besides your gorilla fucking answers. And when you making those com commercials, we all the same, boy. You just lying. You're fuck you only talking to your kind. Well, I want to talk to my kind. Okay? And I don't want you around. That's my fucking point. Do I gotta spell it the fuck out for you, dickhead? I don't give a fuck about you. Go ahead to that ESP. Go ahead to that fucking gorilla ass shit, dude. You're not wanted here. And you stay here and waste your time if you want. You're just wasting your time. You're never gonna see your kind on here. And I fucking mean it. So you think about that, assholes. The world of ours, everybody wants to be Afro American. Everybody wants to be tough. Everybody got swag. Everybody, man, you out of your fucking skull, dude. You so fucking out of your skull, dude, you gonna take a shit one day and your brain gonna be in a fucking toilet. Cause you one fucked up ass son of a bitch. 
And I fucking mean it. The white boy ain't gonna come out here and say no shit like that. Cause whatever happens is okay with his ass. He trusts his shit. But 9-11 fucking happened and that's snapping him the way he's that's waking Gumby the fuck up. That's what's doing, that's what's happening to the white boy. He turning the fucking Gumby in here. He playing a nut roll. So I ain't even gonna get into it. I'm not but that's what we are about around here. So if you don't like it, take your ass to fuck somewhere else, dude. Is that mature enough for you now? Since I put up that other vid, he always acting stupid. He so that is this mature enough for you now? I think it fucking is, dude. You can't handle my fucking maturity. Imitating fake ass motherfucker. And I'm fun of fucking projects. That's the thing about it. All they wanted, all they good for is to be left alone right now. This is the opportunity to get their shit together. And this white motherfucker all up in the goddamn grip. It's freaking fucking straight fucking slavery all around here, dude. I ain't gonna even fucking talk about it. I didn't give a shit. They can hate me all the fuck they want. I don't give a shit. I don't care. That's my fucking point. So, y'all see stupid shit up here? Deal with it. You don't like it? Get the fuck out of here. And these dumb bitches out here, they got they ain't got no women in nowhere. Everything's a man world and shit. Every fucking little girls ain't got shit. Little girls ain't got a fucking thing. And they don't give a fuck about it. No girls on the end see that shit. Everything man, everything, everything ain't got no superhero, they ain't got shit. They got Wonder Woman, they got a couple of bitches for fuckers. You wanna do they don't give women shit. And then women turn around don't like me. What kind of fucking shit is that? Stupid ass shit. That's why I act the way I act. And I'm never I'm never gonna fucking change. I'ma get worse. Y'all don't deserve the mature side of me. And I ain't shit. Y'all don't deserve it. The people out there in social media land know which people I hold dear. Even though I'm not talking to them anymore. They know who they are. I understand their situation. I understand their beliefs. I understand all of that. They know who they are out there on social media. They know who they are. And they know also that our time is coming. Our time is coming. Because when you find somebody like Rashid who really gives a fuck about you, dude, there's no way you're going to let me go. There's no fucking way, dude. I'm me. It's just that fucking simple. I ain't bragging or nothing. And the thing about that that makes it look bad is that people want to be like that. All around the world, they want everybody wants to be the man. I'm so and so. I'm, I'm this. I'm, I'm this. I'm man. I'm, everybody wants to be the man, but nobody can face fucking reality. Everybody wants why the rap motherfucker so go. Everybody wants to be a gangster. Everybody wants to be a gangster. Everybody wants to be a gangster, but nobody fucking wanna die. I mean, it's the same. I mean, everybody wants to be the man, but nobody wants to die. Nobody wants to take the bullet. That's why I'm laughing at all you fuckers. I ain't gonna shit you. Everybody got a big fucking mouth, but nobody ready to take a bullet. Man, fuck y'all. You know what I mean? So, everybody wants to be take a bullet, and um, I mean, shit. I want to address something so bad on here, man. You don't know how fucking bad. You don't know how fucking bad I want to address something on here. I ain't gonna address it though. I ain't gonna even fucking say nothing. I ain't even gonna fucking say nothing because it ain't time for that shit right now. And like I say, I don't, don't want to defame. Uh, YouTube or Google Plus. I want to take over. When I open my mouth and talk, 
I want to take all responsibility, dude. All responsibility. I don't want nobody to say, oh, this person on Google or this person on you. I don't want nobody to say, oh, this person on Twitter, this person on Facebook. I don't want nobody to say that. I want all responsibility. All of it. That's all I need. So, because y'all, all these bitch ass mother, I ain't saying you are, but, oh, we're feel he said making us look, but nah, I don't need this shit. I don't need this fucking bullshit. I don't need it. Everything I say, I want to take all responsibility for. It. Every fucking so. And I don't want no Twitter name around me. You, uh, Facebook. I don't want none of that shit. So for now, it's just this bitch ass talking like this. And I'll just deal with it for now. But I'll get my own shit soon. Then that shit is on, dude. That shit is so fucking on. But not now. It's too fucking early. Cause there's some sucker stupid ass shit going on here and these motherfuckers think it's somebody an idiot. They playing a nut role and they forgetting shit. I don't forget nothing. Mr. Big Tom, Mr. Big Man, I don't forget shit. All that bullshit we went through. Uh-uh. Ain't no fucking way this happened. But I'm just putting up with this bullshit. And motherfuckers know what I'm talking about. All that bullshit. Uh-uh. Where the fuck you think you going at, man? Where the fuck you think you going at? Mr. Big Man, Mr. Number One Motherfucker, where you think you going at? Uh-uh, no, fuck that shit. You ain't going no fucking way. Uh-uh, don't work that way. Don't work that fucking way, dude. Don't work that way. The fuck you think you running? Where you going? You ain't that motherfucker. What's was this shit? Uh-uh, don't work that way. Nope. Absolutely, uh-uh. Don't give a fuck about that. Fucking out your damn mind, all that bullshit. Yeah, motherfucker, painting and painting this fucking stuff. Uh uh, ain't no painting fucking shit. Fuck out of here with that stupid shit. I don't wanna start no trouble. I ain't about starting no trouble, but if if you wanna if you wanna open your mouth and say something, at least back it up and shit. We are people that are sick and tired of putting up with this bullshit. Now we're about to start something. Now this is the worst mankind has ever gotten. Now is on the lift. Uh uh, I'm, I'm making my area on this fucking planet. I'm making my fucking area on this planet Earth. I'm making my own fucking area. Don't come over my area with this bullshit. And I got all these people right with me, agreeing with me. Don't bring that shit around here. Stay, keep that shit way the fuck away from us. Cause you guys lost your damn mind. I ain't let no fucking criminal come in sitting at my fucking dinner table with my fucking kids. You out of your fucking mind. And the media saying it's all right to do it. Uh uh. Y'all, y'all, y'all crazy. Y'all fucking crazy. And I mean that shit. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. You don't know. You don't know nothing about fucking. You a dickhead. Don't know nothing about motherfucker, dude. One new well, you go here with that shit. And you take that other bullshit on that social that mainstream American fucking shit with you too. I ain't gonna put. I ain't. I don't give a fuck about it. I will make my own talk show. I wanna be on a talk show. I will make my own talk show. I don't need to, i see myself in the spot. I'll put my fucking self in the spotlight. I'll put myself in the spotlight right now. Like I need some fucking body. I want to see myself and my people want to see me in the spotlight. Watch I put myself in the spotlight. I'm going to show you. Watch this shit. I'm going to put myself in the spotlight. Watch. Watch this. I'm going to put myself in the spotlight. If I want to see myself in the spotlight, and people think I playing all this before we got in the air. That's what they fucking thinking. Oh, Rashid did all that. I want you to think. That's how I want you to think. I'm a fucking genie, dude. I'm a, I'm the fucking leprechaun. I'm motherfuckers looking for me. People want to own me. 
If you only knew how the fuck, how much I was worth, motherfuckers, if you only knew it, dude. I transform shit in front of your fucking eyes in a heartbeat. Ain't that right? I can't hear y'all. Turn that shit up. I can't hear you. Now look, check this out. We gonna do this nice. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Look at this. Look over there. Look over there. Calm down. All the windows opening up. The people seeing my sheet. I still got a message. So I still gotta answer that fucking thing. All right, y'all. All right, calm down, guys. Calm. All right, you see that right there? I just put myself in the spotlight. All of that shit right there. I don't know what you fucking talk about. It's big ass shit. I don't need you to do a fucking thing for me. Stupid shit. It's all stupid shit. I don't give a fuck about no late night born bin or no. I don't give a fuck about it. I do what I want to do. Now you go ahead with your bullshit and, and the way you was the fuck and you had be happy with your damn self. But don't for one for something second think that I'm just going for that bullshit you in. I'm not gonna do it. Don't go get mad at somebody and get jealous over what you getting jealous over me for? You get jealous over me, man. I like to play sports more than watching it. Why you get mad at me for? You gotta get mad at your grandfather. He the one told you different. Uh. Uh. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. I just came on because I don't know. I just wanna come on and talk about something. But these motherfuckers, I know I came on. And I and and the thing is, I. I put up something I had for the cartoon thing, the thing and people start talking all this bullshit like oh I'm doing stupid shit and, and oh silly shit cartoon shit I, you can't handle my shit you ain't gonna get real with me you want me to talk about that old late night shit no I'm not talking about that I will find things for us to talk about as we go along but you guys are with me I don't give a fuck about that. Uh, I'll get it in a minute. You guys are with me. So we're going to do things this way. Alright. And we'll discuss important issues when they need to be discussed. Right now it's all about us. It's about how we feel. It's about what we go through. It's about what, how, I mean, what's your opinion on things they don't, they ordinary don't, don't want to give a fuck about your opinion about shit. It's about getting it all up around here. That's what it's all about around here. Now all that other news stuff, and I know this is a network and RVT is not even real. And you, you want to see this this Rashid do something. Not, I'm not about that shit, guys. I'm sorry. Y'all got to go somewhere else. There's a lot of other people on social media got their networks. There's a lot of other people on social media got their radio station. Y'all got to go over there with them. I'm not going to cover that bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm not going to cover that bullshit. I ain't got time to be playing games around here. I really don't. They don't give us shit. Now I'm supposed to smile in anybody's fucking face, dude. The black man gets every fucking thing. The rest of us don't get shit. And the Latino is right under his ass. They don't give nobody else nothing, man. Now I'm supposed to come out like some monkey smiling and shit. No, I'm not gonna smile. I'm we gonna do things the way we what how we want to view shit. And I'm sorry I can't be these these Carmels or whatever it is on late night. I'm sorry. I ain't got I ain't been to college. I don't know how to click with you guys like that and say yeah they signed a treaty in Washington D.C. Ha 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 or some old shit. I don't know nothing about Washington D.C. Don't give a fuck about me. Neither do the people who give a fuck about watching the DC. One new message. Why, why, why I'm gonna get on my shit and talk about people who don't give a fuck about me? See, I can't think like that. They think different than me. So I'm sorry, guys. I can't use these big words and I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. 
Only certain times I'll come up with uh, serious shit, but it's gonna be wishy washy shit. It's not gonna be, you know, if something happened. That's different. If something happened in the news. Y'all know I keep y'all posted about, but I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I can't do it. And I'm gonna keep making these announcements off and on because you expect to see some of that shit with RVT. But I'm telling you the reason. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's fake. It's not real. It's not reality. Reality is kids going to, going to sleep hungry in this country. Reality is nobody addressing a bullying in school. Kids getting treated like shit in school. By Afro Americans. And, and this guy is an American. This little kid is an American. That's what the issue is about. It's about leaving black people alone and letting them live their life. That's what it's about. These are real issues. You see, one minute you think I'm racist, then I come off with some other shit. That's how I want it. The truth. You got to tell the truth. There ain't got nothing to do with racist. You got one nigga bullying another white kid in school, and a white kid, this is his country. That's what the issue is about. Now, you got, y'all keep fucking with niggas and y'all need to leave them alone and let them live their life and grow to a proper, decent race. That's what it's about. One minute you think I'm racist, next to you minute I got my foot up your ass. That's what it's about. It's about hungry kids and it's all this shit all around us and nobody can go out and have a nice time. That's what it's about. All this fucking shit all up at Walmart and 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 Seven Elevens and Wawas, and we can't have a fucking thing of it unless we got the right money. That's what it's about. It's about all these people in this country hungry and in the fast food restaurants throwing out gunks of food every night. That's what it's about. Instead of having a sign, hey, come in and get this free food at the end of the day for the homeless people. You could come, they have some kind of system, and then you could go to a fast food restaurant to collect free food at the end of the day. They ain't got nothing like that, because you know what? They don't want us to have shit. It's about issues like that. It ain't about fucking, hey, watch this guy do a, a read reading bad tweets. Uh, let's read, uh, celebrities read, but let's see this guy run in place and do this, uh, 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 this stupid ass fucking shit, dude. That's not going to make me happy when I finish watching you. Sure, it may entertain me while I'm watching you, but once it go off, what I'm left with? What I'm left with, dude? You mean you got all this show, all this shit to say on these cue cards and all this shit, and you can't help me get my refrigerator full? You making all this fucking money you po you ever possibly could spend in your fucking lifetime, and you can't help me buy some clothes for my kids. But you want to get on my fucking TV set and smile on my goddamn face about stupid shit. No, I ain't got time for that shit around here. You could kiss my ass. I don't see fucking nothing funny. And you take it the way you want to take it. But that's how we roll around here. Fuck that message. I don't care, you know. Everybody calling me 24 hours a fucking day. Rashid took viral to another fucking level. We ain't even gonna talk about that. They viewing my shit in NASA. I'm a fucking I'm a fucking god in underground internet. You fuckers don't even know it. I'm a fucking god in the deep web. I'm so fucking big, dude. Them numbers on this shit can't even, can't, can't even keep up with me. I'm jammed. I'm fucking jammed, dude. You really think that's the numbers that of the views that I'm getting? You really think so, huh? Dude, my shit is jammed. I'm surprised it don't fucking break. And I ain't shit. Half people circle me. I don't even know the fuck. 
I didn't care. I broke all that fucking shit. I broke it the fuck down. Broke it all the fuck down, dude. So the point is, we're enjoying our new world that the Bible promised us. And it's too bad if you do not understand it. That's too bad. I can't help you. You should have paid attention in, in uh, Catholic school or whatever. And right now, you will be on the same page with me in some degree. If you don't, if you're not, I'm feel sorry for you. Allah and all of that. All that shit is to us is all over. All of it. All of it. Because everybody's fucked. Because everybody's prophecies is fucked. It's gone, dude. Open your eyes. It's gone. Y'all sitting back debating this shit. The good news of the kingdom will be preached in all the heaven of the earth for witness to all the nations and then the end will come. Dude, internet. You can go right on. You don't even need a Jehovah Witness no more. You go right online. That's the whole world. This is the beginning of great tribulation. People don't believe me. They fucking sit around my seat full of shit. Okay. We'll see full of shit in 15. Give me 15 years, dude. 10 to 15 years from now. Watch where we be at. And we'll see who's full of fucking shit. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. 10 to 15 years from now. And we'll see who's full of fucking shit. All these religions, all this preaching, making more Muslims, making it. They could get that shit online. What they need you for? And, and the Bible says if that happens, dude, that's it. Time is up. So you could think I'm lying if you fucking want. You don't preach it for that. If I want to be any religion, you could go right online and become that religion now. People are unneeded now. And nobody, ever, nobody don't even fucking see it. That's the funny part about it. And... The Bible says if that happens, that means time is over. Oh, didn't the Bible say it's going to come like a thief in the night when you least expect it? Didn't the Bible say whenever it is, they say peace and security, something's destruction will be instantly upon them? Didn't the Bible say it'll be time when the sun will not give us light? And you think it's more early in the morning and it's late at night? You think it's late at night and it's early in the morning? So you keep thinking it's a joke all you want. That's what we believe around here. Okay, so... <laughs> Somebody just texted me a message. That's all. I just read this. So. See, people. Um, <laughs> yeah, did you read what they texted us just now? Did you read it? Oh my God! Y'all, y'all, y'all get it. Y'all get it. <laughs> y'all get it, dude. <coughs> so anyway, um, I don't want to scare nobody. Nothing like this is just what we believe. Okay. So don't you know? Don't wonder what's going on. That's just how we go about shit. You can think what you want to think. I'm not getting that one. Now we got two messages now. So you see my message is growing. Somebody just text me on this computer here, and um, you know I can't keep track of y'all people. I really can't. There's a lot of y'all. You know y'all coming. I don't know where y'all coming from. I fucking don't know. I don't know where the fuck you're coming from, man. But. You know, it's all in the line of having fun and making new friends and, you know, staying in contact with Rashid. You know, I'm your buddy. You know, I'm not going to change, guys. You know, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to thrust my beliefs on you. And this is RVT is for entertaining. But I just want to make my point across because people say, where all the niggas at on here? You're not going to see no swag niggas on here. You're going to see de decent black Afro-Americans on here. Alright? You ain't see no swag shit on here. You, you waste your damn time. Unless it's for like a, 
a kind of segment or whatever. You're not going to see nothing on here. So, no. The answer is no. You don't like it? Go talk it up with the white man when it's one to one thou Make sure subscriber, motherfuckers. Or, or, or YouTube front page. Go right over there. All the niggas you want. Okay? You ain't going to see it around here. That swag shit. You're going to see decent blacks around here. Decent blacks. Ethnic, ethnicity blacks around here. Alright, any of that shit right there, take it to the Star Wars movie that's coming out. The Han Solo fucker shit. Take it right there. Don't come around here with that shit. You don't like it? Kiss my ass. It's that simple. I ain't got time to be fucking around. And I'm treating you the way we've been treated. It's only fair. That's the way the game is played, right? It ain't like I'm being disrespectful. If y'all see like a all of a sudden a Chinese man talking, then y'all make it fun of his fucking race. And y'all, you know, y'all, oh, oh, Chinese man talking, and it's okay and shit. You know, for like an Indian to show up, oh, look at this motherfucker. I don't like, or, or an Amazon person to show up, and y'all got smart, it's natural shit, right? So I'm not, I, hey, I'm a nobody. I ain't saying I'm their ethnicity. I'm not saying I'm their ethnicity, but it's only natural to do. I mean, y'all don't like us. It's that simple. You don't like us. And I'm not putting the Sadiqians with them, mind you. But I'm saying anybody that's not monkey, you don't like. They're never being the in crowd. So, guys, no. No. I'm not going through 1980 again being with motherfuckers like that. Okay? The answer is no. I'm doing my own thing. And that's the And that's it. You know, that's, the, that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. That's all there, all there is to it. And I mean it. I do. That all the, that's all there is to it. And I fuck with me. I just gotta slow down my words. Like, I gotta slow down with that shit. I'm smoking this fucking shit. And it's making me talk like... That, that's all there is to it. I ain't porky pig. I don't go across my fucking words. If I got something to fucking say, slow down and say it. That's what my original mother always taught me. You slow down and say that shit. Make sure every syllable gets heard. That's what my mama told me. She did. Every fucking syllable. You can go get some uh, barbecue chicken. You gonna eat some barbecue chicken? Yes, we gonna eat some barbecue chicken. And I'm gonna lay the fuck down. That's what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and go, guys, because if I keep waiting around, it's gonna be a long time to download this shit. And I ain't trying to stand up waiting. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm gonna try to get us on RBT this weekend, guys. And uh, these little speakers that I'm doing is just something to just keep us, you know, in each other face for a bit. That's all. I don't care about being smart. I don't care about being intelligent. I care about you. And the way you feel about topics today. The real deal. The real fucking deal, dude. Don't bite your tongue bullshit. Not like that fucker with that cowboy hat who went on a radio show saying something minor about black people. Then the next time you saw him, he, oh, I'm sorry. And all kissing ass like that. All they want to do is get in your face and fight you. That's all the fuck they want to do, dude. I know. That's all they want to do. That's the argument right there. If I was in front of you and shit like that. I ain't got time for that stupid ass nigga and shit. I ain't got time for that. If I was standing in front of you, bullshit. I ain't got time for that. Because that's all the fuck they talk about.
Nothing else. So let me go out here and eat my chicken sandwich with my 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 uh, commune. Eat chicken sandwiches. Smoke this. I'm gonna roll me another fucking shit. I know that fucking thing. I don't even need no more. I don't even need. They gonna call me today. That's why they call it. I'm the tin man. Dude. I'm the, I'm I'm fucking. What do you do with a heart, sir? To thump. Oh, can I hear that? Let me see. Let me go to my database here. I got every fucking thing, yo. I got every fucking thing, man. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I got a database to me that holds all kind of fucking shit. I got some shit, man. That's the way I run my fucking comedy, and I don't get bored. I don't need that fucking uh, shit y'all watch. I don't need it. I mean, if I come across it, I'll watch it, but I don't need it. I make my own. We make our own entertainment around here. We don't need that shit. We don't need to be watching that shit y'all watch. And it'll be exactly the way I wanted. I wanted to be. And but not that other bullshit. I, I put it in the wrong way. Right? I'm doing it now. Let's see. I'm doing it with one hand. I see I'm holding this girl in my arms. Two new messages. Shut up. Everybody got something to fuck to say. Fuck the messages. Every time I come on, oh here it is. Every time I fucking come on, somebody got something to fuck to say. I take y'all back in time. This is how I go out, dude. I got all kind of fucking shit. This is how I make. Yeah, come on over here. Look at this, guys. Look. I put this on because I'm bored. Every time I get on this microphone, they go away from me. But in this case, I got something. And they coming now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the point I'm trying to make. I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't need this fucking monkey ass shit. I got my own shit. Like, Rashi, I don't get that fucking shit. I don't get that fucking shit right there. I know, but if I was bouncing a basketball, you'll get that fucking shit. That's what I'm saying. That's what level I'm on. Everything else is bullshit. That's what I'm saying. I got my own fucking world. I ain't going no fucking way. Y'all go ahead and evolve to this ape ass shit. And you stay the fuck away from it. And I mean it. I raised my kids the right way. Y'all go here with that fucking shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We gotta get out of here. I gotta fucking know. Um, Just suck. That's all. It's just I don't know. They don't have PSAs no more. They quit. That's what I'm talking about. They ain't, they ain't got no television no more. Fuck is that shit, man? Damn.
We ain't even got fucking, uh, oh my god. Who the fuck she barking at, man? Who the fuck she barking at? Hey, take this shit. It's burning my finger. Keep America looking good. Turn your radios down. There's noise pollution. You can believe that was a PSA? Turn your radio down. That's noise, that's noise pollution. Listen. Turn your radio down. That's noise pollution. I play this bitch over and fucking over again. I swear to God, I'm not shit. I'm not fucking sick. Shit. I, you know what? I ain't even gonna worry about it. Y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't give a fuck. That's beautiful. Well, so much. Well. I ain't got nothing to say out of respect. I ain't got shit to say. Mind my business. Mind my business, dude. Don't care. Nobody else care. Why should I fucking care? No comment. Just, it's good that I'm just showing y'all. Two new messages. I'm just showing y'all that I don't need your shit. I got my own fucking shit. And I don't need your people. I got my own fucking people. So you just wasting your time thinking if I come and comment, I'll take him. I don't give a fuck about you or your damn people. Pork chop motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck about you. Stupid ass son of bitches. I'm taking a fucking people. You stupid ass shit. Let me get the fuck out of here, dude, because I ain't got time for this shit. Because I ain't got time. Y'all, y'all, y'all got, y'all, y'all be alright. Y'all be okay. Alright, and I mean that shit. Y'all be alright. Kool-Aid. 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 Bye.